Now let's head back to the studio. Michael Grady, thank you. An excellent job there. It's a good time to be a New York sports fan, but now we turn the page, Stephen A, to the Lakers and Suns game coming up right here on ESPN. Stephen A. Smith, Bob Myers, Kendrick Perkins, I'm Malika Andrews. Stephen A, what are you looking for from the Suns in this one? Well, I want to see, what can they hold on to a damn lead in the fourth quarter? It would be nice. It would be nice because there was something they gave up last a lot last year. They did it in game one uh, this year as well. Just their continuity, them playing together and playing better defense. Tyus Jones will help with that. Yeah, can they build on what they did a couple nights ago at the Intuit Dome? And they showed they can hold a lead in the fourth quarter and finish in overtime. What made them a title contender? Them trading for Bradley Beal. He wasn't available a lot last year, always injured. Great first game against the Clippers. I'm looking for him to be consistent this season. And on the flip side, we'll be looking to see if Anthony Davis can build on that outstanding opening game performance. That's going to do it for us. It's time to get you to Crypto.com. The NBA on ESPN is presented all season long by State Farm. Like a good neighbor, State Farm is there. And in part by MetaQuest, official mixed reality headset of the NBA. We welcome you to NBA Friday, presented by State Farm, part of MetaQuest opening week in Los Angeles, California, a prime time Friday night matchup for you between the Los Angeles Lakers and the Phoenix Suns. The stars certainly well represented tonight at Crypto.com Arena. LeBron James fans always going to fill this building as LeBron gets ready for game two of year number 22. And another matchup against his friend and rival, Evan Durant. You treasure these meetings between these two icons. As we welcome you courtside, hey everybody, Ryan Rucco alongside Richard Jefferson. So happy to be with you this Friday night on ESPN. Richard, the Lakers did something they had not done in eight years the other night, win their season opener. We know about LeBron, but J.J. Redick has talked about Anthony Davis being the hub of this offense. He was terrific in the opener. Frank Vogel, Darvin Ham, every coach that has come here that has coached Anthony Davis has talked about making him the hub, enabling him. That's what uh, J.J. talked about during the summers. We want to empower him, and what happened? He got a lot of touches. It's the touch length. That's what it means. More touches for longer equals you're playing through him. He had 88 touches in that game. That's the most of any player. That means that, look, they're going to play through Anthony Davis, and they set the tone in game one. Meanwhile, for the Phoenix Suns, they also won their opener in overtime against the Clippers. We know they have Devin Booker. We know they have Kevin Durant, but Bradley Beal really shined in that first game. Bradley Beal had a big statement this summer. I heard him say on a podcast, he's like, look, I missed 50, or I missed 29 games, uh, and we still won 49, 49 games. So if I'm able to be healthy, I'm able to play. We're a two seed. We're a one seed. So he has a ton of confidence in his team and the way they've structured it, bringing in that man right there, Tyus Jones. They have a point guard. They have players that are going to help facilitate his success. Taking a look at tonight's starting lineups brought to you by Icy Hot. Yeah, Tyus Jones, the point guard for the Phoenix Suns. First year with them. Booker Beal, Durant, Nurkic for the Lakers. This starting five went 18 and six a season ago. We talk about Kevin Durant and LeBron James. More combined points between those two than any two players in a head-to-head -head matchup in NBA history. More than 69,000 points. Nice. With LeBron James and Kevin Durant on the floor. Just greatness. Just greatness, the two of them. 
We don't know how many more matchups we're going to get to see, especially at this level. So I'm going to sit back.